hello guys and welcome in this tutorial video i want to demonstrate to you how to reverse a transaction that has been processed on a cash book on sage pastel accounting there are many different reasons why a person would want to reverse a transaction that has been already processed the reasons include you might have processed an over or understatement of the amount or you might have processed the transaction in the wrong financial year um, and so forth it takes a lot of different reasons so in this tutorial video I'll start by processing a cash book transaction thereafter I will demonstrate to you how to reverse that particular transaction so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to the cash book and then when I get to cash book the first thing that I want you to take a look at is the balance of this particular cash book account so the balance as we stand is 475 rents so I'm just going to process a payment there quickly so you can see that I have a payment I have receipt side so I'll just go to any sites there just for demonstration um, on the period I'll just skip GCS I'll just keep as well I'll just take the general ledger account and then the account um, I'll just take accounting fees as it is um, the reference I'll just leave it like that then I'll go to the bank amount so when I get to the bank amount, what I'm going to do is that I'm j I'll just type any amount. So I'll just type 200 rands as shown. Then remember that after processing each and every entry on Sage Pastel, you need to go to the next line and update. Now I'll just go to update, update this payments page. So remember I have just paid or I'm about to pay um, accounting fees an amount of what 200 rands so I'll just update this payment batch now there is the amount I mean there the transaction has been processed if you take a look again at the balance it says 275 rands it jumped from 475 to 275 friends because we have just paid an accounting fees and I'll just take you to view the income statement as well if you go and view the income statement you will see that on accounting fees there's an amount of 200 rands that has been paid on the expenses part so I'll just close that and go back to my cash book now I want to re reverse that particular transaction and it can be for so many reasons as I've demonstrated to you then I'll go back to the account I'll take accounting fees I'll go to the um, bank amount when I get to the bank amount what I'm going to do I'm just going to put a negative balance which is negative 200 rents there it is and then go to next line I'm just going to update that particular um, transaction so there it is I've just uh, reversed that particular transaction if you can just take a look at the balance the balance is now 475 friends from 275 friends and then I'll just take you back again to view the income statement one more time and see what happened so if you take a look now at the accounting fees you can see now that there is no balance so it means that you have reversed that particular transaction
and that marks the end of today's tutorial video tune in to other tutorial videos in the future